Hey guys, what's up? So we are now here at Lagan Resort. I have my face mask on just for the sake of this intro. And since we're not surrounded by people, I'm gonna take it off so you guys can hear me better. So we are at the boat dock right now. And we are going to go up and show you guys around. Hold on to me. Never let me close your eyes Only got one night Just put your trust in me Give me everything I need your love tonight So baby please don't fight it Put your trust in me I'll Ready, give you lads? everything So hold on to Okay you guys, so I'll give you a quick tour of where we entered and where we arrived straight from the airport and that little entrance right there is where the boat goes also it's really nice because you don't really have to deal with shuttles or any stuff like that you land at the airport and depending on the tides but they take you straight from the airport right on these boats and you pull right up to the resort so yeah, it's no super no three hour shuttle or anything you just get to pull up right here this is the boardwalk where you go to your rooms these are some over the water cottages um we're staying in one of the beach cottages so we're not over the water but it actually feels like that because right outside our balcony is like a little sandy beach and then the water so it's super beautiful can't complain hey guys so this is the pool area absolutely beautiful and then you have a backdrop of the bay over there the sunsets are amazing you guys we actually had dinner by the pool last night and basically it's just a very very nice zen place to relax and chill and you can eat all your meals by the pool if you want to but if not there's also a dining hall and a bar right there so now we are going to probably my favorite place this is the bar area another great thing that we took advantage of that all like while we were here is how you can actually have food delivered straight to your room if you just don't want to go to the dining hall or you're too tired so it's a great precaution to like socially distance in a way okay so now you guys we are on the path on the way to our room and we can't wait to show you guys how amazing the view is What's up? Welcome to Beachfront Room 121. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome to our amazing room. So Basically, we had to kind of housekeep the place a little because as a safety precaution, they don't allow housekeeping service, which is totally fine. There's also an extra bed over there. So this room can accommodate a maximum of three guests. But you know what? I think the main thing about this is how beautiful the view is. Like, look at that. So I've had a lot of fun out here in the balcony. It's perfect for working, having breakfast, having lunch, dinner, basically just relaxing. And honestly, this, the, just this room and just this view makes the whole trip worth it. Hey guys. So we are currently at the entrance of the Big Lagoon. We're about to kayak in because I don't think boats are allowed inside, but apparently it's going to be an amazing, magical experience. Yeah, first dates to follow on. I'm excited. Yeah. so many vlogs saying that usually this is so crowded so we're kind of lucky to have this place all to ourselves right now and it's honestly like the video doesn't give it justice it's absolutely beautiful Big Lagoon. 
That was beautiful. Uh, I'm not even sure the videos and everything do it justice. Uh, it was it was great to see. We got to do a little bit of swimming, just a little bit, mostly kayaking, and now we are headed over to Small Lagoon. I think we're going snorkeling actually. Let's do that again. No, I don't think we're going to Small Lagoon today. You look like a Small Lagoon. <laughs> Uh, snorkeling small lagoon, we'll see, we'll figure it out, but we'll see you there. Yeah. Hey guys, what is up? We are now here at this beautiful white sand beach. So I heard, we have to confirm this, but we're just gonna put the name of the place here. But I think this might be the place where they have the house reef of the resort. So basically there's some snorkeling going on there and apparently a lot of amazing fish and fish and wildlife and I'm super excited. Honestly, the sand is so soft. I didn't realize there was like sand as soft as Barakai sand. Like you felt it, right? So. Hey, like you, right? Hey, like you felt it. Is she talking to me or anyone else? Hey guys, start of day two, about to go on this hike in this beautiful trail at the back of the Lagan Resort. Hiking the forest with my boy from Wake Forest. Oh, good one, baby. Yeah, let's see the shirt. Ding. Got a rep out here. <laughs> I, I've been teaching Troy, we have our sneakers on. I've been teaching Troy to say tabi tabi po which, you know, if our Filipino viewers out there will probably know what this is. Um, so when you're walking through like um, nature and so the roots of trees, you say tabi tabi po. In Filipino culture, like that. In Filipino culture, it's being respectful to the jungle elves. I actually saw a monitor lizard. It was running away from us though, like right behind us. Um, but it was, a, it was a pretty cool experience. It was like, literally how you imagine a lizard would run with its hind legs it was it was kind of cute um yeah best to observe them from afar so i wouldn't recommend touching them but yeah and i think observe them from afar i'd rather observe them from a car okay I, oh my gosh i think we just made it you guys wow so this is cove 2 of lagan island it's actually so beautiful and peaceful we have some beach chairs there. They said there's a guard here somewhere. We can show like the SM guard. Oh no, the monitor lizard got him. <laughs> hey guys, so we are now at the private beach. This is Cove 2. And as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. So it took us um, maybe like 45 30 minutes to hike um, it wasn't an easy hike it also wasn't the most difficult I'd say it's like a like moderate difficulty um, a lot of climbing and holding on to the rope but honestly it was so worth it and while we're here we actually we'll do the regular b-roll so show them some fun stuff but we have a fun competition this looks like this looks like James Bond kind of, right? Like the James Bond Island. Yeah, James in Thailand. Bond versus Baywatch competition. You <laughs> vote who does it better. Let's see. Okay, you guys, so that was the end of our challenge. We had a bit that of- That was actually cornier than I thought it would be, but it was no worse than any other YouTuber's view. <laughs> it looks, it looks worse no matter what, so that was actually better. We at least admitted it. You know what matters the most is we actually had fun doing that. It wasn't, it wasn't just for you guys. We were just like being idiots. <laughs>